Aloha everyone! We are so excited to be staying at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort in the brand new remodeled rooms. These look amazing. We cannot wait to show these to you. This room does sleep up to five adults and we have a standard view room, but even with a standard view we have a very nice view. And we're up on the third floor, which means we have a balcony. First floor rooms have patios, third floor rooms have balconies, but the second floor only has a Juliet balcony. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind if you actually do wanna have something you can go out and sit on, you need to request first or third floor. The new theming in here is Moana themed, and so far we absolutely love it. The room is a lot brighter, has a lot more color in it, and the little hidden characters around the room are really fun to find. So let's go check it out. And when we first come into the room here on our left, we have the closet space. There's three separate sections. The furthest one over here by the door has a closet rod as well as your iron and ironing board in here and some clothes hangers. The other half has an additional closet rod, your extra pillow and blanket and a small luggage rack and then a couple drawers down below. A lot of space here for hanging clothes and it's really nice they've built in some lights inside the closets as well. And then this cabinet right here has some shelves as well as your safe. And you have a full length mirror on the back of this door. Just to the right of the closet you have your little coffee nook here. With a really pretty painting there from the islands with flowers and greenery. And hey hey looking like he needs his morning coffee. We do have Keurigs in these rooms instead of the single serve coffee makers that some rooms have. And in the drawer just below the Keurig, you'll find your K-cups and your sugar creamer cups, things like that. And then this cabinet right here is your mini fridge. It is not a fridge, it is just a cooler. Worth pointing out, it does not have a freezer section and it only goes down to 41 degrees. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to keep something colder than that, you'll need to see the front desk and ask for their assistance. Over here on the left, we have the bathroom and they've added a pocket door to close off the bathroom now. You can see just pull on this right here, it goes into the wall. And of course that does have the option to lock. They've totally redesigned the bathroom with the toilet in its own room over there. It used to all be one big bathroom. It's definitely different and a lot better now in our opinion. You've got the shower over here with the detachable shower head as well as the second rainfall style shower head. Love the tile work in here. There's kind of a faint print on the tile you can see, just like they have throughout the room. Lots of little detail that looks kind of like Maui's tattoos throughout. And they do have the refillable shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in here. On the other side, we have a couple sinks with some shelves down below for storage. You've got your hair dryer down there. Not as much counter space as they used to have, but still there's a good amount of counter space here. You've got the small shelf there below the mirror adding to that. You have a makeup mirror on the wall, and then of course a large mirror across above the sink. Right over here we have another pocket door that you can close off. You've got your toilet in here. Beautiful piece of art that also has Moana and Maui down at the bottom, kind of tucked in there. And I love the built-in that they made over here to hold the towels. A really great use of the space. Heading into the room here, you can see on the left, we have a huge accent wall inspired by Maui's tattoos. We'll take a closer look at that in just a minute. We've got a couple queen size beds in here. Each of them does have a small bench in front of it and they are raised up with space for storage underneath so you can slide your luggage under there. On the wall over here, we have a huge picture of Moana, a beautiful frame around it too. I love how they fit that in here. Moana and Pua standing down here on the beach. And we were able to find one Mickey head in the picture all the way over here in the flowers. Alyssa found that one hiding there. We've got some USB and wall outlets on each side of the bed built into the wall here. And the ones on the end have these small little tables there so you can store your phone while you're charging it at night. We've got a lamp here on the side of the bed that has the tribal patterns kind of on the lampshade. I love that. And the headboard itself has tons of carvings in it. So much texture here in this room and I love how it adds to the theming. We've got these little reading lights built into the headboard. They're very handy when you don't want to turn on all the lights in the room. And up at the top of the headboard, you can see we actually have light coming out. So it's added a lot of light here in this room. One more thing here on the bed, we have the little Moana symbol up there in the corner. We'll find that a couple places around the room here. 
Speaking of lighting in the room, we also have a huge light right here in the middle that again has all of those different shapes and patterns on it. I love how they fit everything in this room into the theming. I think the Imagineers did a great job with that. In between the two beds, we've got a nightstand that has a drawer and a small cabinet down below. Again, more of those USB outlets and wall outlets and the switches that control the lights here in the room. And then behind me, we have the TV and the dresser. We've got three very large drawers on the dresser, lots of space there. You've got some USB outlets up above there on the countertop and of course a huge flat screen TV. That accent wall that is inspired by Maui's tattoos, you can see stretches across the room. We've got flowers and different symbols and things on there. There's that symbol again up top. We actually have Maui and Moana there on the wall. And over on the left side, we have a turtle with another little hidden Mickey on his back. This one's a lot easier to find than the one that was in the picture. And those are the only hidden Mickeys we were able to find here in this room. But with all the Moana theming, I didn't expect to find any. We've got a lamp here in between the TV and the couch, and the couch does have a couple pillows there on it. We've got a turtle and we also have an octopus over here. And this couch does convert down into a twin size day bed, and Alyssa will pull that down for us here in just a minute. We don't have a desk in this room anymore, but we do have a couple small tables that you can pull around the room. And you have a chair with an ottoman over here in the corner. Above the chair, we have a lamp, and this lamp is really cool because we didn't realize there was anything on the lampshade until we turned it on, and you can see the different characters on there. We've got Grandma Tala and Pua and Moana and Hey Hey. All the way around, we've just got different characters. It's really cool to see they put the detail into that. And before we head out onto our balcony, there's one more small detail. You can see we've got these huge windows here leading out. On the curtain, we have the symbol once again, right there in the little pattern. So many little details here in this room to find. As we head out here onto the balcony, you'll see we've got a couple chairs and a table, and we have a really good sized balcony or patio if you're down on the first floor. Lots of space out here to come and hang out. Really nice chairs and table. And as Alyssa mentioned, this is a standard view, but in this particular case, the standard view is not bad at all. We've got the beach over there, kind of have this garden area over here. We're right near where the luau would normally be, straight across kind of through those trees. And of course, standard view can be anything here at the resort that is not a theme park view or lagoon view, but we got really lucky with a great view here. And Alyssa has pulled down that day bed for us and you can see the twin size bed here. Again, the bedding for that is inside the closet over there. And with this pulled down, it doesn't take up any additional space because it's about the same footprint as the couch, but you can comfortably sleep five adults here in this room. And that concludes our tour of this newly refurbished Moana themed room here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have. We're happy to answer those. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. We've got room tours and resort tours and all kinds of other fun videos here at Walt Disney World and at other Disney destinations around the world. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. We're here with the ears.